All right, everyone. Welcome back to Midnight Fight Express, a really awesome brawler beat 'em up style game from an indie developer that comes comprised of one singular person. I like the game a lot. I played it last week and absolutely enjoyed it, and haven't had a chance to get back to it for another friggin' week, which does actually disappoint me a bit because I'm really enjoying it. So let's continue. And if I remember correctly, the last thing that I had done was parry weapons. That's right. I bought the ability to parry a weapon, which I think is going to help tremendously in the gameplay. I think we also got a new finisher. Yeah, look at this finisher. Uh, finish enemies using a melee weapon. So now not only can we counter a melee weapon, we can do a finisher with a melee weapon. Pretty cool. So we have new unlocks purchased. I just hope that I can remember how to play. If I remember, dodge was A. Parry was Y. Strike was X. Hold down X is heavy. What was B? Ah, shit. I might have to mess around a little bit to remember the controls from last week. Uh, shout out to the cat who just did a super chat saying did Jasper miss me? Jasper is literally sitting right here. You missed him. He's just crawling all over me. Um, and he's having a good time here in the office tonight. He's welcome here all night long if you'd like to be. Uh, right now he's currently staring into the open closet wondering if he should go back in there to explore or relax or what he should do. I think he's a little confused. <clears throat> I, actually had, uh, uh, I actually spoke with my wife last night about putting something into the closet whether a blanket or a cat bed or something so that he would have somewhere nice to like lay down in the closet if he wants to relax with me in the office. So, thinking about it. Expand Dong, as I read your Twitter, I'm surprised. Oh, you ready to talk? All right. If you want to talk about Destroy All Humans 2, let's do it on, the, on another time, like after we're done. I'm just starting with gameplay of this game. I don't want to talk about the earlier stream now. I kind of already went into detail about it on Twitter, and I talked about it at length on the first stream. So, appreciate that comment, Expand Dong, but it's not derail as soon as I'm starting. Ship Ahoy! Arlena's probably beefed up security knowing we're here. Let's send a message to the boss by dumping her overboard. So, dodge is A. What's B? Nothing. I guess B doesn't do anything. And then you got counterattack with Y and strike with X. Okay. And then that's right. And then RT, throw or pick up. Okay. Who the hell are these guys? Not babyface, I can tell you that much. Couple of shitty thieves then. Let's show them what happens when you steal from Arlena and the big guy. Wow. Sh they're actually called shitty thieves. Whoa, he tased me. I counterattacked the weapon right there. He tased my ass. Is this a taser? Yeah, the taser baton. Let's use that. Nice. Dugadugas. We got Dugadugas. The cat did a super chase says, I'll buy Jasper a bed. You have a Ushanka. I don't even know what a Ushanka is. Does anyone know what that is? Thank you to the cat for another super chat. I have no clue what that is. Okay. that. It's fucking Popeye the Sailor Man. Literally, it's Popeye the Sailor Man. Come on, man. What's your secret? How'd you hook up so fast? Is it roids, isn't it? Spinach, dude. Oh, my God. There's direct references to so much in this game. It's funny as hell. I'm sorry. Injected straight into the veins. Changed my life and others' lives. Oh, how are you even alive? You need to see a doctor. No, no doctor. Only smash. <laughs> yes. He's Popeye the roided Sailor Man. And eat spinach out of a garbage can. You guys just got fucked up. Yes, indeed you did. What is that? A wrench? A paintbrush? I, I can't even tell what that is on the floor. Huh. Alright, they want me to go this way. Ah, stairs. I didn't even see the stairs at first. I agree, the music is great. Can I turn my voice up in the game volume lower? I can lower the game volume if you want. Wait a minute, what's that? What's that noise? It's paused, but there's still noise? Do you guys hear anything? Is it an ambient noise right now? Or is it a glitch? That's me. Would you hear anything? You don't hear anything? 
my capture device is claiming there's noise. That's weird. What is it capturing? So you guys don't hear anything. It's my capture device. My capture device is claiming right now there's noise coming through either my PC or the game. There's nothing though. Yeah, I'm checking everywhere. I'm making sure there's no other audio source playing. What is it capturing? Nothing. And you guys say you hear nothing, right? Just a background fan? Mm -hmm. Hold on. That's not it. Could it be a glitch in my software? It might be a glitch. Hold on a second. There's a really weird glitch going on. It's claiming there's an ambient noise and there is none. I've never seen OBS do this before in the years and years I've used it. I've never seen that before. Well, if you guys don't hear it, it doesn't matter. Okay? As long as you don't hear it. So if, it's, if you don't hear it, it's not a problem. Then, you know, I'm not going to freak out about it. We'll just keep going. Yo, my place isn't haunted. Maybe it is. Maybe it's going to be one of those voices you can only hear on like ultra ultra pitch and you play it back and it's like feel you suck you fucking suck this is the devil and you suck it could be you never know <clears throat> i can't turn my voice up my voice is max in my setup i keep telling people this they don't listen i've only said this ever since i started capturing here eight years ago my voice is max i can't make it any louder that's is the highest it goes in obs it's it's hitting the red bar if i go any louder you will hear just breaking up sound Okay, anyway, I don't know what's going on. Let's, let's continue, right? All right. No, you're not going to shoot. Fuck off. Oh, shit. Oh, God, the sailor. The sailor was fighting. In the, they're fighting each other. That's weird. Arlena must be somewhere around here. Maybe in the main cabin up there. That's where I'd be. Steering the ship. Captain Drone, they called me. Oh, boy. The captain, another super chat saying, look here, listen, chat. What's the noise? Sounds like a wings reference if I've ever heard one. Okay. Box. I need to move my mic closer. My mic is not even a foot away from my mouth. You really want me to move it closer? Are you crazy? You know what it sounds like when you have the mic directly in your face? Is that a gun? No, what is this? I guess it is a gun. It is a gun. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, can't go in there. Nothing over here. Okay. I need to get health back. Oh, it's a taser. Oh, you fucker. See how far I kicked that guy? Suck on that. Shot him. Shot him dead. It's fucked up. What do we got? Uh, dead end over here? What's up? Oh, wait. Oh, hey, I'm not bringing in or anything. I live here. Yeah, that's it. I moved in three years ago. I'm loving it. Oceanfront reviews. Honestly, it's impossible to afford living in the city anyway. You know what I mean? Okay, then I'll head inside with my home soon. I get some shed eye. Off you go. That was one of the mysterious people to find and talk to. Uh, here you go. I believe him. I don't know about you guys. Babyface is here. Babyface is fucking here. Shout out to the cat who did another, another major tip today. Who says, this is for Jasper and a hat. Also, can I get a shout out to Laylin, my homie? Sure. Shout out to Laylin, your homie. Thank you to the cat for a very generous tip. Now, the cat. Hold on a second. I just want to do something quick. All right? I hope you all won't mind this. So, the cat. Earlier today, the cat tipped me a lot of money. Today. Now, tonight, the cat is tipping again. The cat also did a wings reference. So, not to put the cat on the spot, but the cat, I just want to make sure you're legitimately here to chill. You're supporting my streams. You're not going to try to charge any of this back, right? I just want to clear that up up front because you understand that there's no refunds 
I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, this is just, you're supporting the stream, that's it. Under no means can you charge it back. I'm assuming you're supporting because you actually like the content and you support the stream. You're actually trying to help Jasper because, yes, the money that you contribute to my streams supports my pets. That is correct. It's just weird that you come in here doing Wings of Redemption reference out of nowhere and you've only been here a couple times before. Now, all of a sudden today, you're being so generous. Yes, I apologize. He basically says, I don't even know how to charge back. The fun is worth it. It's better it better go to Jasper. I, listen, every week I'm going and getting stuff for this cat at the pet store. So trust me, it definitely helps. All right, fair enough. I'll take your word for it. So, oh, by the way, it's gone. It's definitely a weird ambient noise in the game. Because now I don't hear it. But in, the, in OBS, it's saying there's an ambient noise. And then when I go here, it's gone. So it's, you know what it is? It's that atmospheric air noise we're hearing. That's what that was. So there you go. Now we figured it out. All right. So shout out to the cat. Thank you, DC. Good evening. I missed I missed your haiku if you did one. Could you do it again? If you could pot paste that again, I'll read it out. So the cat, thank you for a $46 tip. He said, this is for Jasper and a hat. And, and a shout out to Leyland, which I already shouted out. Okay. So let's get that up on the leaderboard. And thank you to the cat. I appreciate that very much. That's going to get us up to the Gunner Glasses goal of $50. So let's get the Gunner Glasses on for the $50 goal. Thank you. So there you go. So thank you very much to the cat. Appreciate that. Now, if anyone else contributes tonight, what are you working on? If we hit $100 in tips, you get to pick a silly hat for me to wear. And, of course, if we hit the full tips goal of $150 tonight, you get to pick a silly vest. Earlier today, I finally wore the Marty McFly vest after having it for many days. It was actually the cat who did a significant tip earlier today and made that happen. And uh, I'm very happy that we finally got to wear that because it was very silly. And uh, we'll see what happens for the rest of tonight. Okay? Thank you so much. All right. We did it. Gunner Glass is in effect. And now we can continue on. Good evening, American MAGA Undertaker. What a name. Okay. Babyface is here. I repeat, Babyface is fucking here. Reinforcements now. Arlena's going to have us all killed if we don't get the shit out ASAP. I'm serious. Remember Miguel? God, the sailor was roided as hell and a super armor destroyed me. Damn. How is he zero effect from the tape? Yeah, you can't, okay, you cannot counter the sailor's moves. I think that's the trick to him. He's uncounterable. However, weapons fuck them up. So there you go. Yes, the main cabin. Well, I finally achieved my dream. I dream of steering a ship. Probably not, but Arlena's in there. Nowhere else to go. All right. Oh, really? The cast has wings looked at my real-life pet and showed him on stream. There you go. DC, thank you for this haiku. It's a Street Fighter haiku in honor of today. is Street Fighter's 35th anniversary, if you didn't know that. 35 years of Street Fighter. So he says, a fighter spirit, acrobatic moves displayed, high defense counters. Thank you very much, DC. Very nice haiku. There's Arlena. Babyface, you asshole. I can't believe you're making me do this. Danny, Johnny, kill that traitor. Two of them. Can I get a weapon? Two. No weapons in this room, seriously? Ugh. That's frustrating. Oh, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. I knew they were going to attack me when I was in the middle of attacking the other guy. Jesus, what a fucking haymaker. What's up, Shia? Ranch, cook it. Give me the fucking wrench. Give 
coming to me. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They're sitting right over the ridge. Oh, my God. They also gave them giant areas of effect. You saw that, right? So all their attacks don't necessarily only attack where their arms are. They actually have an area of effect in front of their arms as well. That's going to make it extra challenging. I got one already. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I got one. Good start. Oh, fucking shit. Anytime I open my mouth. Oh. There it is, the roided combo. Partners in crime, huh? This life isn't for everyone, but it was made for us. One day you just up and disappear, and to top it all off, you leave your child behind? That's not what real friends do to friends, or what good parents do to their children. Now you break in here, busting up the operation we built after making me think you were dead all these years? What are you gonna do next? Blow up the oil rig to prevent the foreign shipments? <laughs> don't think so, baby dick. When I'm done with you, you'll wish you were in the fucking ground. She called me baby dick. I don't like that. Quite embarrassing and, and insulting my manhood is, is off limit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fucking fuck, fuck. Dude, you totally can't focus on her because the guy keeps shooting you in the back. What a dickhead. There's two of them. My gun's gone? How did I lose it? How did he get it? Where's his health bar? Great. Goodbye. Killed her. The friend I knew would never hurt me. You really don't remember me, do you? Poor baby face. What did he do to you to make you turn? Must have really stung. Once upon a time, you shared the big guy's vision for the city. Total control leads to true freedom and end to crime, violence, hunger, hatred, division. Now look at you, berserk with rage, and you don't even know what you're fighting for. That sounds like a Mega Man reference. Wrong go, lady. We're fighting for the lives and soul of the city. We won't stop until every last one of you nutbags are gone. You, I know you. Have you told Babyface the truth? Huh. Would you believe me if I told you I didn't know what she was talking about? No? Well, then fair enough. <laughs> Okay then. Now you gotta say the audio's loud. All right. It's the music's a little loud. There, I lowered it for you. Truth, I'll truth bomb you. I promise. Now this is how we have to get out of here. Let's make a deal. We blow the oil rig. Arlena mentioned to hell. Drop some knowledge on you. Arlena's choppers is out there. All right. How do we get up here? Uh, here. Okay. Interesting. Interesting plot for sure. I don't know what the hell's going on. Who is he really? A nice shitty rating. So, all right, continue. I missed a lot of shit. That's for sure. You saw that rating, how bad it was. How are you doing, Little Sleep Real Vibes? How are you doing? It's actually 7 36 p.m. here, so more like evening. This game is an interesting combination of a lot of things. Some people are saying Sifu. Some people are saying Hotline Miami. It's kind of bold. It's like they took those two and went and squished it together. Sign here did a super chat saying official petition to unban Mango Jewel Pods Baxter. I honestly don't remember why you got banned in the first place. It probably wasn't a good reason. You know what I mean? Like you probably did something stupid. Uh, 
However, doing what you're doing is not going to get you unbanned because I can't unban anyone on the fly on a YouTube stream anyway, so. Oh, I got one unlock point. Excuse me. Do we want to do kick big items around? Uh... Ooh. Disarm and get their weapon. That's actually good, right? That's pretty good. To... Uh, blue times, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how much money I gave you. I don't know what patron means. Plus $5 a month, 50 a month. You want to get closer, DSP? What are you talking about? I thought it was fan. What are you... Blue times, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not talking about Patreon at all. Sounds like maybe someone's talking to you and it's not me. I have nothing to do with Patreon. Uh, you know, I have a Patreon, but I don't talk about it on my stream, so... I don't know what you're talking about. I appreciate your tip from earlier, Blue Times, but I have no clue what you're getting at. You're confusing me. Okay. <laughs> I think someone else might be messaging him and he thinks it's me. It's not. Oh, uh, she says I was playing the Kabonga collection earlier. There's a lot of cool stuff to look at before you even play a game. You're going to enjoy it. Cool. Sounds like Saturday will be a fun day when I play that on a marathon stream. All right. By the way, I've totally forgotten to do these. So B grapples and A will choke slam. This one will push them into each other. Oh man, I don't even know what to do here. Gun finisher? Wow, you could stun them with the gun and then do a finisher. Wow. Kind of nice. I think I'm going to save for this one. Although it does say you need 15 levels. I'm going to save. I'm going to save it up. Okay. I'm doing good, Kevin. Thank you for asking. Doing good tonight. All right. Should we buy something new? We have 3,800. Should we buy another thing of clothing here? Can't really get that much. I can't really afford anything. They're all expensive. God damn, they're expensive. Jesus. All right, we'll just save. We'll just save up. Let's do the next stage. Oil rig. Lord Prince Albert is here tonight. Did a super chat. I hope your cat is a good guy and doesn't smell like shit. No, he, he does not smell at all. Jasper's a very cleanly cat. He does not stink in any way. He doesn't. He is. I don't think I've ever seen him fart. Seriously, I don't. I don't know if any cats do, but he doesn't. I'll abbreviate that. Thank you, Lord Prince Albert. And then Phil Sour Nipples to the dollar fifteen says, "Don't forget, block comments always going to sh a shit out of you." I don't even know what that means, but thank you for the tip. Or excuse me, yeah, thank you for the dollar tip. Okay. Oh, Lord Prince Albert says, "I'm not talking about your cat. I'm talking about the guy in chat." Oh. And the cat did another super chase. Says, "Sorry, we're in kitchens. I smell like grease. That's disgusting." Actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't comment. I worked in fast food for many years. And I had to always had to wash the dishes. And the place I, I did, uh, the place I worked at did a lot of salads. So at night, you'd put all these disgusting salad bowls into the sink with all their greasy-ass vinaigrette dressing and shit. And you'd wash it. It would smell terrible. I'd go home smelling like that. I'd immediately get home, take off all my clothes, and throw them to the fucking basement because it smelled so bad. So I don't think I have a right to criticize. <laughs> all right. Those are some pretty serious allegations this Arlena made against you. Abandoning your poor child, fronting a weapon smuggling op, and then you go and blow up an entire oil rig. Charges on charges, and to top it off, and talking about this evil boss you never even met. Well, we've done a little bit of digging, and if it's the guy we think it is, you're you're out of your pea-sized mind. The guy's a saint, a philanthropist, no criminal record, history of bettering the city, no way he's behind it. Tisk tisk tisk. Don't look good for you, even if you thought you were doing the right thing, saving the city as you say. You know what? You got a lot left to tell us. Maybe you'll exonerate yourself yet. What about the lying drone of yours? Okay. How did the chopper land itself? Something's up here, isn't it? Anyway. I knew little Tony C4 would come in handy eventually. We owe Arlena thanks for the idea to blow this oil rig to hell. Let's do it in a memory. Champ, hello. What's wrong? Is that Arlena said about your former life? I get it. It's heavy to learn your moral compass formally out of whack. Whatever lowly shit the boss planted in your head. We're making the world a better place. Let's kick ass and blow shit up. He talks too much. He literally gabs too much. Too loud, too. Blokes, why are you standing there on a, port, a pitchfork? Forget it. Our next shipment's coming in, but Arlena's gone dark. Where is Babyface is back and killing everyone? Not this shite again. Babyface is dead and never coming back. Bloody hell, a zombie. Kill it. Right over. 
Right over. Choke slam. I got the choke slam. Nice. Nice roundhouse kick. You see that is a good animation. Cool. Look what gun he had. Choke slam from hell. Uh, destroyed. And a gold tooth. Nice. You going here? No. This music is so badass, I love it. Jade, what's going on? Good to see you here tonight. Go down. Let's go here. Nothing. This is where the guy came from. Can't go there either. Okay. Oh shit! A million guys showed up. Of course, this guy's a gun now. The repeated choke slams. Where'd the gun go? There it is. I feel like this is what I should do. Just do slow shingle shots to make sure every shot counts. Look at that. Look, buddy. We're dealing with a crisis, so hand over what we paid for and head back to whatever free care, healthcare country you came from. What? <laughs> wow. You do 20% extra or I go or deal off. <clears throat> okay. Uh, how about 20% of my foot up your ass instead? Idiot. Ass is tight. Do not get foot, uh, foot more than 5% in guaranteed. What? What? <laughs> what? Uh. Okay. I did a flash beam. You see that? Nice. We're getting fancy. Ran out of bullets. I think it was 10. 10 bullets in a fucking assault rifle. Figure that out. Oh, I tried to dodge. I swear I was late. I love when they fall over the edges. It's really nice. Okay. Couriers. Okay. Remember, you're escorting a weapon shipment to the mainland, and that's it. No joy scuba dots, joy scuba in this time. Got it? How about we get the shipment to the mainland, then we do sightseeing on the way back? Win win. What part of no joy scuba in do you not get? If you've just never been on a night dive, it's magical down there in the dark. We'll go sometime, you'll see. Oh my god. Okay. Joy Scuba Inc. No, the music did not get claimed last time I played this. What the heck? I shot him twice, nothing happened, and he shot me and I instantly died. Okay. Jesus, they got rocked. Crowbar. That's new. Kevin just did a super chase. This game reminds me of Absolver. Oh, thank you for playing it. You're welcome. I've never played Absolver before. 
so I cannot uh, I cannot make that reference or comparison. My eye is burning badly, which is why I'm rubbing it to try to get it to water up to stop burning so I can keep playing. Jesus, who are you, King Undertaker, Big Show? Who knows? I'm Psycho Sid. So thank you, Kevin, for the Super Chat. Then Sneeze Feed and Seed to the Super Chat saying, formerly Chucks. You were here earlier today, Sneeze Feed and Seed. Thank you for the Super Chats. Put this in. As an abbreviation, so I don't have to type out 400 words. Hello, unknown. Good evening to unknown. Who just said hello. <laughs> Okay. All right, ready? Uh oh, guys running fast. Hurry for it. Oh, another guy with a gun. Oh, left, I, that's the the gun finisher. I keep forgetting to do it. Here we go. Oh, as soon as it's left bumper, that's weapon or gun finisher, and I keep forgetting to do them. I gotta use them. There are new moves I unlock. Can I hit him? What the hell was that? I couldn't shoot him. I hit him with the crowbar, threw it in his face. Damn. This is the spot right behind that gate, the weakest part of the rig. Toss it in there. Let's let's get out of here before the fireworks kick off. Where? What are you talking about? Over here. Whoa. Okay. Uh, where am I going? This way? This way. 13 seconds, fuck. I don't think I'm making it. Well, thank you to the cat friend of the super chat. Asking the chat if he should tip or he should become a member or what he should do. I mean, that's up to the chat to tell him what they want him to do. Thank you to the cat for the support. I get blown the fuck up. It's a beginner's trap scenario. You don't know what to do. Let's try again. There we go. I was so close. I was right there. All right. So. I think I got like a, wow, I actually got a C instead of a D for once. There you go. All right. No, I have not tried changing my TV to a warmer color output. Very good. I mean, that's what, exactly, that's what my gunner glasses are for. My gunner glasses are supposed to use a yellow filter to filter out blue light and make it easier on your eyes. So you would think that that's happening naturally. No, I see you have to level 15 to get this. I'm going to save my points. I really am. I'm just going to save them now. Ooh, how about, ugh. <clears throat> A concierge short sleeve. Cage mask, like a jackass. Oh, here we go. I'm doing it. I bought 3D glasses. I spent all my money on a pair of fucking cheap ass 3D glasses. Wave chase. Oh, this could be unique. What started as a way to escape the oil rig explosion because the tense jet ski chase across the bay as Babyface and Droney seek to escape their enemies and get after their next target. That sounds fun. I'll see you tomorrow, Kagome. Have a good night. All right, let's go. Okay. There we go. I don't mean to alarm you, but we definitely pissed those smugglers off something fierce. They may be about to catch up to us. They may try to kill us, just to guess. All right. You can shoot. Okay. There we go. We need to change to a completely different type of game. Look at this. Nice. 
Nice. What Arlena said. The truth. I haven't been honest. It's not because I want to mislead you. Let's do this. Let's it before our jet ski catches fire. This is our jet ski catches fire. Jump to another jet ski, right? What do you say? I don't need to jump yet. It's not on fire. Huh? Oh, it said low health dead instantly without showing anything. Oh, bo there's bull health in the bottom right. Oh, I see. Bottom right corner has a meter. I didn't even notice. Keep circling and strafing. I don't think they're going to hit me. Good evening, Bruzy. How are you? Bruzy. Here's the truth. The counter's on our tail. Look out. Right. Yeah, here's the truth. Dude, it went... That's bullshit. It went from half health to low health, no health. Immediately. Is that a shoot? You just shoot missiles wildly. Pretty fun. I like that they mixed it up. They broke it up with just the, the combat. All right, now I need. A, now I need my bow. There we go. Sometimes someone else's bow. Nothing I could do. I was completely cornered. Absolutely nothing I could do there. Music's great. When do I get to fight the chopper? Spill the beans. Hit them with everything you've got. Okay, here we go. I pressed A. Didn't work. Oh, am I shooting you? No, I am. I pressed A. I'm getting close to pressing A and then my boat blows up. It doesn't count. Wow, I jumped it and then the boat blows up anyway. Chopper. Good. Almost. Almost done. That's some crazy shooting with one hand in a boat. Take that blow holes. As I was saying before, we were really interrupted. I told you before about me not exactly true. I do hack. I have hatred for bullies. I want to save the world. I do it from inside the boss's HQ where I work. But wait before you tear my head off. I'm basically a prisoner here myself. Boss been using me for messed up shit. I ain't doing it anymore. Managed to find a hiding spot in the HQ to keep helping you out. Boss is looking for me now. Sorry I couldn't tell you sooner. Thought maybe you just trust me if we can do the truth. And now we're going after our next target. Okay. Achievement. Leave no trace. Complete the wave chase mission. That's it. Wow. She was just forgetting that far. Nice. Very good. All right. Still not at 15, right? What stage are we on? 13. Two more stages. I could buy those higher level upgrades, so I'm still going to save my points. 
These pants suck. All the good pants are too expensive. Lord Prince Albert did another super chat. He says, the cat SC is cool because your name stays on board. I guess he's saying, uh, super chats are good because your name will stay there. Well, that's true, but also if you're the top tipper, you, you know, your name stays on there too. Actually, it's the opposite. Super chat, it doesn't. If the next person super chats kind of gets your name kicked out of there, right? So there you go. All right. Civilian Evacuation Center. After destroying Arlena's oil rig and escaping a jet ski standoff, Babyface and Droney will reach the docks, find themselves one of the boss's honeypots disguised as a civilian evacuation center. <clears throat> All right. Jade, it's been pretty good so far tonight. Yes, thank you. Primarily one large tip. So now we're entering Act 2. So this drone droney, as you call it, so you to just trust it right out the gate. Then you find out it was lying. Instead of smashing it to bits for betrayal, you go in on trusting. I gotta say, that's pretty noble of you. Most noble act I've heard of. What is he doing in the mirror over there? He's doing, like, runway poses or something. I don't know. What? You didn't think we could see your merits? These are x-ray eyes, son. Now I know it's a bit of a turn from earlier, but there's one. There's the thing. We're thinking maybe you really do believe in loyalty and trust. Maybe not so much with this boss. Then again, if what you're saying about this role in the takeover is true, a big if, then it's possible you might be redeemable after all. Let's face it, if you're truly trustworthy, truly honest, truly loyal, then you'll keep the promises you make, no matter what. Why do I get the feeling, right? Why do I get the feeling that there's definitely going to be uh, something going on here with them having to do with something? Maybe they're not real or something. Maybe they're in your head. Who knows? So, pretty sure this is one of those civilian evacuation centers the city officials tried to set up when the whole mess started. The boss co-opted them uh, pretty quickly, though. Made them into honeypots for turning civvies into pr prisoners or worse, flipping them on his side. There's some real fugliness. <clears throat> Hold still, little piggy. Gotta drain the life from you. Pirates. Great. Right. Fucking pirates. Are those pirates? It means treasure chest, right? <laughs> No gun. No gun. Huh. Oh shit, they've got a shotgun or a rifle. Damn, they've got multiple guys to have them. They've got a fucking giant spear. I keep forgetting to do my weapon finishers. They won't even pick up the giant gun? Oh, come on. I can't pick up the spear, though. All right. Another giant tip. Wow, the cat, you're so generous today, man. Thank you so much. The cat now tip $49. Said for Jasper Baby, shout out to Dave, Lemon, Kevin, Lummox, and the Hoodlums. Last tip for a while, laughing my ass off. That was a shout out to, well, that was for a lot of, uh, like, those are wings detractors. Like, Lummox, right? The cat, I don't know, man. I, I appreciate all the support. I just hope that you're genuine. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, with that, we've had hit our hat goal for the night. Okay. So, we're going to have a hat tonight. Let's see what poll, uh, what wins the poll here. People are saying they foresee chargebacks. Again, I'm going to give the cat the benefit of the doubt, you know, however... Everything is logged these days. I, keep, I log all the messages. I log everything. So if anyone ever tries to charge me back with bullshit, it's probably just a matter of time by the, by the time that I win them. It's just a, the, the real pain in the ass is the chargebacks are very annoying where it freezes your funds and shit. But anyway. Um, all right. So I, I trust the cat. Which hat is Fight Club Best? We're going to call this Fight Club, even though it's Midnight Fight Express. So earlier today I wore... What did I wear? The cowboy hat. So let's do the beret. Let's do bender. Let's do the Punisher beanie. And let's do the fake hair hat. There you go. Very good. Okay. Ah, 
Okay, ready? Let's continue. Thank you, guys. Thank you to the cat for the support tonight. And uh, let's see what hat wins the poll for tonight. Awesome. The cat says, I'm not charging back. My bad choices are my own. All right. Kevin just did a super chase. I trust cat too. And shout out to him for the support. Thank you, Kevin, for the super chat. Thank you all for the support tonight. Very supportive stream tonight. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, the boss is trying to flip civvies with this to have their organs harvested. It's a special place in hell for people like that. Anyone else want to try and steal organs for themselves? Didn't think so. <clears throat> Threw them into the water. Jesus, look at how I'm fighting with this thing. Fight pretty crazily with this. What is this? Oh, it's a, a pirate style flintlock handgun. What in the holy hell? I never thought there would be a flintlock pistol in a game like this, but here we are. And now I was instantly murdered by someone else with a gun. Fucking Gordon's fisherman. It seriously is. Here, I have a fucking pirate sword in the head. Yo, he's got two. <laughs> he got two pirate swords in the head. What a life. I got another flintlock pistol. Jesus, that's brutal shit. No, I was not a fan of Midnight Rock and Roll Express. That was before my time as a wrestling fan. Psycho Pirates. Okay, that does it. Let's eye for an eye these guys. See how they like having their organs on the outside. These guys look like a Psycho Clockwork Orange gang or something. Love the music. Here it is, weapon finisher. I did it. I finally did my first weapon finisher. Nice. The thing is, I keep pressing the button and I murder them before I get the weapon finisher. Oh, Jesus. Did you see that? Ew, ew, ew. Their bodies, dude. That I was not expecting. Oh, I forgot about this. Dude, I totally forgot. I can use upgrades on the pistol I got now. I forgot about that. Look at this. Oh, my God. They're harvesting dead bodies for organs. Yeah, I have the new pistol and I forgot to buy the special pistol ammo to use that. I totally forgot about that because that was the end of the last stream. You know the drill, mateys. Fill the skin bags with product and ship them out. We're going to split between Chef Favreau and the boss as usual. Remember, keep the brains pristine. You damage him, I damage you. This is going to be a, a reference to the movie The Chef. Did you ever see it? It stars John Favreau. I saw it. Chef Favreau. That can't be a coincidence. That's Chef Favreau. Those psychos we're talking about has been on the boss's go-to guy for black market gourmet items, as they call them. He has two vegan organs, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's kill these assholes. Oh, my God. Butcher. Fucking butchering them. Damn. He just stood there and let me murder him with a musket. There's only one shot. Only one shot. The Bender Hat's winning. It's going to be Bender Hat soon, then. Oh, my God. He launched. Did you see how far his body went? What's this? A fucking fish. I'm going to beat them up with a fish. Now we're talking. What happened? I missed. Oh, I wanted to kill him with a fish. They wouldn't let me. Come on. The fish. Ex there it is. The fish execution. Damn. He died standing. 
You know the boss always kept me at arm's length, but I knew some wild experiments were going on behind closed doors. Never mentioned that monster was literally harvesting and using human organs. Now let's get the chef shithead, blah, 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 blah. This guy's way too wordy. What's the chef movie about? It's about a guy who starts a food truck, and he wants to be like a gourmet food truck, and he has a lot of hardships in his life, but then he ends up, it ends up working out. It's a pretty good movie. Oh, that's it. Level complete. Very nice. All right, looks like we're gonna have the Bender hat. The Bender hat has won 40% of tonight's vote. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, remember, if you could give it a like, I'd really appreciate that for engagement purposes. If you're watching on demand on YouTube, liking the video, leaving comments can help as well. Uh, at 100 likes, I do a silly blowing of bubbles. Oh, we're currently only around 50, but we have almost 300 people on the stream, so it'd be great if we could get some more, thank you. So here, yeah, look, I wasn't doing this. I have a ton of points. Secondary gun, I could do Magnum, Electrified, Power, Wave. Or do I want to actually save up? Maybe I do want to save up for the better ones. I think I just want to save up. Forget the gun. Whoa, are you kidding? Shout out to KA. KA just sent another 50 bucks. His top tip is now all mine. Thank you to KA for a $50 tip. You guys are crazy today. I don't know what's going on. Something is in the water. But it's something good, obviously. Thank you to KA for a very generous tip. Now we're going to have a vest tonight as well. But the Bender hat has won the, the, the hat poll. So let's end that. And then let's set up the poll for the vest. <clears throat> so. Shia says maybe just buy one gun level and try it out. You may be right. Maybe just buy the standard level. It's only one point. Yeah, let's do it. And I'll give it a shot. Let's just see what the Magnum Bullet is like. Good suggestion, Shia. Okay, the new poll for the vest for tonight. Which vest is uh, beat M up best? Would it be the Marty McFly vest? Would it be the platinum vest? Would it be the red vest? Or would it be the gold vest? You have some good vests to choose from. And while you're voting for that, I'm going to get the Bender hat. So hold on. Pretty damned awesome to be able to wear not only cool hats with you guys, but also be able to use my damn closet, that's for sure. All right. Marty McFly off to the, the start of the voting here. There we go. All right, let's jump into the next stage, and we'll try this Magnum Bullet. This is the gas station. The group of psychotic organ harvesting pirates in the ground, Babyface and Droney, uh, are going after the most delicious target yet, Chef Favreau. All right. Now see him fool to me, $4.20, says, you kill a fisherman with a fish, shame on you. Laughing out loud. Indeed I did. Indeed, I did. <laughs> okay. What is going on right now? Right now, it's saying the recording is, is like destroying my CPU. I don't know why it was saying that, but it said it was. That was weird. Here's the dealio. Chef Favreau owns a throwback diner somewhere in town. Our data says celebratory meal. So I'm going to assume he's prepping it for Operation Neo Dawn is a success. we got to look at the diner first. So, put us in the right direction. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Try this Magnum. How many bullets do I get? This is like the Saints Row Gang. Look at this. It's the Saints. It really is. The Warriors. They're called the Warriors? Seriously. The Warriors are coming out to play. Yay. Play. Yay. We said we missed one. Looking for a good time, bro. So, I think the Magnum bullet takes a while to charge. I can't fire it yet. How long does it take? How does it work? I can't use it. Now can I use it? Fire. It won't fire. How do you use it? The, it won't fire. I don't know how you use it. I'm aiming it and it won't it won't fire. Uh Now 
Nothing. I'm pressing everything. And nothing fires. I don't get it. Left button? What the fuck is left button? I can't fu I can't use it. Look, it shows it's reloading. It doesn't fire. I don't get it. I bought I bought the Magnum round. It doesn't fire ever. How does this work? Secondary gun finisher. It doesn't do anything though. It just aims and never fires. I'm completely lost. It aims and doesn't fire. I can't use it. Okay. You have to aim and tap, not hold. Okay. It's it's different from the other gun. The warriors have come out to play with human freaking lives. You guys will want to see you tomorrow's a vicious street gang for a hot minute. Okay. I got a lot of contributions to do and I can't shout them out because there's too many enemies. <laughs> Jay Hale took me $4.20 at living your Saints Row playthrough. Saints Row 1, that is. What are your thoughts on Johnny Gaddy? He's pretty based, right? <laughs> oh, he's very based. Uh, he's pretty pretty interesting as a character. He's got attitude, right? Angsty attitude guy. Um, and then the cat did another super chat saying, well, KA didn't do for Jasper, though. Shaking my head. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you to the cat for another super chat. All right, let's try this again. What happened? I couldn't move. Warrior ass bro. He called him an ass bro. I gotta remember I have one magnum round that very slowly recharges. And I can use it. Right now the Marty McFly vest is way in the lead. Clerk. Poor Dante. Bro, what the fuck? You killed him before we got the safe combo, you idiot. My bad, bro. I thought we were just killing dudes and grabbing snacks. What part of what robbing the place didn't you get? Fucking idiots. Fortunately, that poor schmuck wasn't our guy. Let's deal with the ass bros. Rage mode, I did. Went to rage mode, started doing flash kicks and shit. Crazy. Ice him. Ice them all. Shotgun. I want the shotgun. That instantly killed him. I think I found him. Come here. Damn, this poor clerk got fucked up. That's messed up, man. What's that? Oh, you can throw it if you want. I see. Where do you want me to go? Oh, back here. 
I know you're in there, Wesley. The boss sent you here to kill me, didn't he? Nobody's killing you, at least not us, as long as you give us the name of Chef of Rose Diner, that is. They don't even know where he's working. Oh. What do you want with that? Wait a darn sec. What are you doing here anyway? Is that baby face? We're filling you and the rest of the good folks of the city who got themselves caught up in the boss's bullshit. Oh, we're freeing you. For real? I can finally get away from all this? Can you give us the name? Fine. It goes by the Hawthorne, a couple blocks north. Well, good on you. We won't forget to help, Wesley. Not nah, hot tip for, for you. Stay hidden until morning. It's ugly out there. You don't got to tell me twice. Find the bro who killed our bro. Show what bro rage looks like, bro. All right, bro. We got to find the door, bro. Where do you think the door is, bro? Could, it, could, the bro, could the bro door be bro over here, bro? You're about to get all sorts of fucked up, bro. Okay, bro. If you say so, bro. <laughs> That was a double kill. They probably deserved an achievement. Yeah, look. Kill 500 enemies. You might want to double back and sneak around. The road ahead is filled with a whole more of these ass bros. Ass bros? What's that? Just a comb. Oh, I can't move. I got like stunned or something. How did I miss? I don't know how I missed. You're standing right in front of me. I think we lost and let's cut through the motel to be safe. Alright, that's what I was hoping for. The end of the level. So, Sibilant Spirit tip me a dollar fifty says she expected death to roar, to thunder, and growl. She did not recognize it when it came hissing to her side. I have no idea what that means, but thank you for the tip. And and a super chat from the cat saying, have you heard the New Kids Rock album, Mind Goblin? My Goblin these nuts. Har, har, har. There you go. Mind Goblin the nuts. Actually, I like uh, some some nuts. I don't like human testicles, but I do like some nuts. Peanuts are pretty good. Cashews are quite delicious. I like walnuts as an ingredient. I probably wouldn't just eat walnuts by themselves. But thank you, the cat, for the super chat. All right. It looks like Marty McFly vest is going to be tonight's vest that you guys have selected for me to wear. So I'm going to get it. That's two streams in a row. You guys get to see the Marty McFly vest. That's a lot of uh, Back to the Future references. Let me tell you guys something. All right. All right, now I'm really going to be sci-fied out. Bender hat with the, with the Marty McFly vest. This is going to be incredible. Wow. I look like Bender going back in time in the DeLorean trying to pretend to cosplay as Marty McFly at this point. Or I look like Bender ate Marty. Bender actually ate Marty like a snake. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, Derek, good evening. How are you? Good to see you here tonight, Derek. Yes, we talked about that earlier today. I don't feel like bringing it up tonight. All right, so I've hit level 15. I can now unlock these new things, right? I don't know how you get more bullets. I don't know how that works, but we're going to do disarm counter. Yeah, see, so you parry and up an X and you disarm the enemy while you're countering. That looks pretty good. This requires level 20 takeover counter. You take their weapon out of their hand. That's sweet. And gun finisher. There you go. Nice. And I still have two points. Should I get... Should I get... Oh, God. Jasper again with this. Ah! Ah! My nuts. Oh, he stepped right on my nuts. Oh. Jasper, why do you keep stepping on my nuts? Why are you doing this? Come on. You got to get down when I'm playing games, buddy. Right on my balls. Oh. I'm not really a robot. I don't have ball bearings made of steel. You can't stop on my nuts. 
You can't do that. You can't do that. No, Jasper, you can't. He's coming up here again. Jasper, no. He's doing it again. Jasper. Jasper, come on. I can't play games if you're jumping on me. <laughs> Why are you so crazy today? Why is Jasper so crazy today? Look at him. He's a nut today. He's out of control. He's completely out of control tonight. I'll give him a nice pet. There you go. Have a nice pet. All right, but seriously, Jasper, you got to get down, man. This is funny. I agree Michael J. Fox is an amazing actor. I wish that he didn't get Parkinson's because I would have liked to see him grow old becoming an actor and being, you know, an older actor. You know, it, it sucks what happens. You know, that's life, but, man, it's terrible. All right, Jasper, time to go back down. Time to go. Okay. Hoy, hoy, hoy. All right. 